Hello there. I'm doing a picture. <laughs> Another one that I have got off somebody on Facebook. So again, it's not my screenshot, so I can't tell you where it is. And the fella that um, has taken the photo, he, he, I went through all this rig and roll of finding out, like, OK, you need to go to your journal file, which is in C drive, rah, rah, rah. And he said, oh, I'm Xbox. And I've absolutely got no clue how to help him there. But he, he may or may not have bookmarked it. He reckons it's somewhere between the bubble and Colonia. So happy hunting. It, it looks a bit pink now, but it, it's going to stop being pink soon. Basically, uh, I decided that it looks like bacon. And I think w what could be more terrifying and, and fabulous than having an entire planet made of bacon, streaky bacon. I know, kind of greasy. That would be an unusual chemical composition of a planet, wouldn't it? Anyway, so I'm using masks, a big round mask, which was circular so that I got the planet correctly circular. And uh, it doesn't really matter too much about going outside the lines because uh, um, I can use the mask again to colour in the blackness of space afterwards. Uh, yeah, so I've sped it up loads because obviously this is just me drawing stripes. And, and I really, you know... Oh yeah, no, I do do a bit of painting in this. There's it, it, something to be said for it because I use my watercolour pencils on it. These are gorgeous watercolour pencils and I have not bought any of these. I've been given them. They're, they're just lovely. And uh, I've had two different people give me these wonderful watercolour pencils because they reckon they weren't going to use them. But I bet they would have done. But they're just nice. And uh, these, so I, I haven't started yet. Look, this is me smudging in because round the sides, I think it's backlit. It's quite bright for a backlit planet, but maybe there's two sources of light. But that doesn't work in Elite, does it? Because there's only just the one source for the most part. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm doing it kind of blendy grey at the edges because it sort of fades out with the haze of the atmosphere on it. And then you've got this white sort of ring around the outside. It's, it's pretty much how it works. And then I'm putting in like more contrast and tone and then I got my watercolour pencils to try and sort of clarify the lines because the banding on it like the uh, of the the cloud formations on it quite sort of striking and got quite bold edges so it, it wasn't going to work well it, it would have worked in chalk if I'd put my finger down and done it properly but but I think probably I just thought well actually this is going to take me ages so I, I, I did it in pencil crayon to make it clearer and the great thing about the pencil crayons is that then then you can sort of blend them around with water and a paintbrush which is wonderful and it really really makes a difference to a picture and the good thing about the watercolour pencils is that they blend in okay with chalk once you've done that you can smudge them a bit and you can and you can put you can put chalk on top of them whereas plain pencil crayons they're bound with a lot more wax in them there's got a lot more kind of resinous stuff in them to make them strong so these crumbly but they uh, they do they do smudge better and they and they do um, they do allow other medium to go on top of them which is quite nice really as you can see there it goes look splodge splodge and they go really bright for a bit when you first put the water on I mean when they dry out they don't look quite as intense but they kind of look really really bold and sort of intense and good so anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking but yeah that that's pretty much what happens with this picture for quite a bit so if you're patient you're welcome to watch it thank you